Well, poetry is about distillation of thought, experience, emotion, understanding, and those heightened moments of awareness that uh, are remarkable. And it's the economical use of words to produce things in brilliant forms that are so stunning. And if that's not design, I don't know what is. People are interested in words and meaning. Um, well, poets are interested in words and meaning. <laughs> they just use them differently. But they use them better. They use them with more skill and care and more cunning. Now, poems don't tell you what to do, but then most art doesn't. <laughs> uh, but it helps you, uh, it should help you in your life in some way, you know, in terms of your understanding, your feelings, your passion, your, your comprehension of other things, ethical or emotional or whatever, you know. And this was told me by Peter Shepard, who is another designer of economic means and a very bright person, the person who hired me to come to Penn. Peter told a story about uh, Edgar Degas, the painter. Anyway, Degas, at one point when he was young like me, tried to write poetry. And he was having a very difficult time. And it, they, they weren't turning out, it wasn't very good. He was disturbed, kind of like me when I was writing poetry. So he went to Valeray one time, Paul Valeray, and he said, Monsieur Valeray, and this is my translation of what it said, I, I try so hard, I write so much, I, 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 I have all these ideas, these great ideas, and my poems don't turn out. And Valeray said the equivalent to Degas, my dear Degas, poems are made with words, not ideas. Well, there you got it, you know, that if you don't get your medium, and if you're not, I mean, it's, my mother had ideas, everybody has ideas, but they're not great designers. Design, you have to get the medium and figure out how to give things form and give your ideas shape that are physical, or it's just an idea. <laughs>